प्यारी प्यारी किताबें कई तरह के नाचो त्योहार जानकारी भी है यहाँ पर वाह भाई वाह वाह भाई वाह स्वागत है इस कार्निवल में आप सबका हर एक स्टॉल है मस्त निराना कुछ ना कुछ कार्निवल वाह भाई वाह वाह भाई वाह स्वागत है इस कार्निवल में आप और सभ्यता ही है हमारी पहचान संस्कृत से संस्कृति है और हिंदी से हिंदुस्तान आइए अब हमारा विमान तैयार है आपको एक शानदार यात्रा पर ले जाने के लिए इस यात्रा में आपको कई खूबसूरत नजारे देखने को मिलेंगे जल्दी कीजिए जल्दी कीजिए यात्रा शुरू होने में कुछ ही समय बचा है लीजिए आ गए हम अपने गंतव्य स्थान पर वेरी गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन वेलकम टू दिनी ऑफ एन इवेंट वन ऑफ इनरेबल प्राइम मिनिस्टर Unity in diversity is India's strength. There is simplicity in every Indian. There is unity in every corner of India, and this is our strength. The Honorable Prime Minister proclaimed that cultural diversity is a joy that ought to be celebrated. Keeping this in mind, he has launched an innovative measure, rightly called Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. Madhya Pradesh Prime Minister Shri Narendra Modi ji dwara. 31 अक्टूबर 2015 को सरदार वल्लभ भाई पटेल की एक सौ जयंती के अवसर पर एक भारत श्रेष्ठ भारत का शुभारंभ किया गया जिसका उद्देश्य राज्यों के बीच आपसी मैत्री और एकता को बढ़ावा देना है ताकि विभिन्न राज्यों और केंद्र शासित प्रदेशों के लोगों के बीच पारस्परिक बातचीत और संवाद के माध्यम से पूरे देश समझ कि एक समान भावना प्रतिध्वनित हो सके अगर इसका लक्ष्य विभिन्न राज्यों के बीच एकता और समझ को बढ़ावा देना है तो हम केवल दिल्ली और सिक्किम की ही बात क्यों कर रहे हैं अ वेरी गुड क्वेश्चन माई फ्रेंड इन ऑर्डर टू इम्बार्क ऑन दिस यूनिक मिशन एंड टू डेवलप ग्रेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ डिफरेंट स्टेट ऑफ इंडिया द कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ स्टेट पेयरिंग वॉज इम्प्लीमेंट In persons of the same, the states of Sikkim and Delhi were paired and exchanged programs of teachers and students, along with the best practices in governance in various fields were initiated. Yes, indeed. Following the Prime Minister's innovative mission, we welcome you all to our interstate online carnival, Ek Bharat, Shreshth Bharat. A millions of art, craft, culture, vibes, cuisines, lifestyles of the states of Delhi and Sikkim. Up me, other ye pradhana chare ji se anurod karunga ki ve apne anmol vachno dwara sabhi ka utsah pradan kare aur apne kar kamlo dwara 
कार्निवल का उद्घाटन कर सभी को अनुग्रहित करें A very warm good morning to all the parents of GD Goenka Public School Sarita Bihar. I welcome you to the class presentation Goenka Panorama. As you all would know that at the end of any academic session we are due to have a class presentation which we have aptly called the Goenka Panorama. This year the theme taken has been Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat. Ek Bharat Shreshth Bharat has been a very unique initiative by the government of india to talk about the cultural diversity and yet to talk and believe in the spirit of unity in diversity in the year 2015 on the birth anniversary of sardar vallabhbhai patel who is the iron man of india this initiative saw its reality when ek bharat shreshth bharat transcended to each and every school in the form of a pilot project where two different states of the country out of the 28 states and nine union territories every school every region got to pair two very diverse states for instance we in delhi were paired with the state of sikkim and the children learned across the diverse panorama of culture practices as well as festivals food habits and other nuances of the rich heritage of these two states the essence underlying this entire program is to bring about the strengthening of entire india just like sardar vallabhbhai patel had a critical role in the unification of states post independence this initiative is to bring that awareness where india stands as a land of immense cultural and religious as well as you know a regional diversity yet the underlying spirit of unity should remain I hereby declare this interstate carnival open. Thank you and I hope you will enjoy this presentation. A lot of hard work and toil and thought has gone in by all our teachers and I especially want to thank my team of teachers who have tried to bring very novel ideas and experiences into this project. Thank you so much. Thank you principal ma'am for declaring the carnival open. Let the fun time begin. Let us move outside this auditorium and become a part of this wonderful celebration. Did you hear the thundering sound just now, Sherry? Well, is the geographical and the history of Sikkim and Delhi that is provoking us to have a sneak peek into these two different yet unique lands. Let us proceed to story one. Namaskar, Swagat Ichcha, Swagat Ichcha. Namaskar, did you like us, Ichcha? Hey, what are they saying? Well, well, let me have the honor to translate. But before that, let me tell you that these girls are greeting us. The official language of the state of Sikkim are English, Nepali, Sikkim is also known as Bhutia and Lepcha. Nepali is spoken by the majority of the population and is lingua franca of Sikkim. Namaste, kaste che means hello, how are you? The second Sikkimese said namaste, swagat swagat che meaning hello, welcome, welcome. Oh, now I know. Let me try greeting them in Nepali. Hami sanche chho. Timro din shubh rahos. I have heard that Sikkim was not a part of India. Is that true? Well, well. Sikkim's history goes back a long time. It was founded by the Namgyal dynasty in the 17th century. It was originally named Renjong. It was an independent country until 
until 1975 after a popular vote to merge with India. Many provisions of the Indian constitution had to be altered to accommodate the international treaties between Sikkim and India. The capital city of Sikkim is Gangsa. Wow, Delhi also has a very thrilling history. When it came to India as a country, every ruler aimed to conquer one place, Delhi. Ooh, I see. I've heard the basics about Delhi, about its beauty and the incredible heritage it holds, but I've never been there. I hope to see it someday, but I would love to learn about its history. Delhi has been an important political center of India as the capital of many empires. It was founded by the Tomara dynasty in the 8th century. And going back in time, I'll point out that Delhi was a major center of rebellion during the British rule as well. Let us compare the location of Delhi with respect to Sikkim on a map of India. Positioned in northeast, Sikkim is the second smallest state of India. Can you see the small red colored state of Sikkim on the map? As far as the location of Delhi is concerned, it stands in the middle of the Indian subcontinent, bordered by Haryana in the east and by Uttar Pradesh across the river Yamuna. Oh yeah, the winters in Sikkim can be harsher. Sikkim's climate ranges from subtropical in the south to tundra in the north. Its temperature seldom gets over 28 in summer, so considerably in winters, it's quite cold. You are right. So, what about Delhi's climate? Is it like ours too? What is the best month to visit? How cold can the temperature drop? Kanishma, calm down. You're rambling. One question at a time, huh? Yeah, I'm sorry. The summers in Delhi are very hot and winters very cold. The temperature may rise up to about 45 degrees. Those winters are not bitterly cold on most of the days, but the temperature may fall to 3 to 4 degrees Celsius on some days. If you are traveling to Delhi, the best time would be during October to March. The rain loving tourists may also visit Delhi during monsoon season. Though it could become quite solitary on individual days. Now I know where to visit Delhi.
आकाश यह जानकारी तो बहुत ही महत्वपूर्ण है मैंने तो ये सब केवल पुस्तकों में ही पढ़ा था पर इन दो राज्यों की सुंदरता के बारे में जानकर मैं बहुत ही ज्यादा आश्चर्यचकित हूँ सच ही कहा है पुस्तकों से होती नई खोज पुस्तकों से मिलती नई सोच तो चलिए चलते हैं पुस्तकों की दुनिया में और मिलते हैं अलग अलग किरदारों से जिन्होंने अपनी खूबियों से अपनी पहचान बनाई नमस्कार मैं हूं दिल्ली निवासी गौतम गंभीर भारतीय क्रिकेट टीम का बल्लेबाज तथा दिल्ली से जीने लो सभा सदस्य दिल्ली से मेरा बचपन का नाता है मैं दिल्ली में ही पला बढ़ा दिल्ली से मेरी बहुत सी यादें जुड़ी हैं दिल्ली मेरे दिल में बसती है किसी ने सच ही कहा है दिल्ली मेरी जान दिल्ली मेरा दिल सदियों का इतिहास ही जन जन का विश्वास यहाँ इंडिया का ये दर्पण है जवान दिलों की धड़कन है यहाँ जो भी आता यहीं का हो जाता ऐसी यहाँ की मस्ती है दिल्ली में बसने वालों के दिल में दिल्ली बसती है मिस्टर गंभीर, and currently i have been appointed as the member of the mission olympic cell for paris 2024 after your melodious poetic description about our country's capital i would like to tell you about my motherland too sikkim a land where nature smiles the snow capped mountains spread till miles First rays of the sun makes Mount Kanchenjunga glow. The night, mother of Sikkim, the river Tista, that moves fast and slow, nested in the arms of Himalayas, cool breezes of love and peace below. One needs to be quite adventurous. and full of might to capture all sikkim's beauty to behold such a sight oh my my such is the beauty of delhi and sikkim i am excited and delighted to take you on the tour to the next stall of their culture and heritage sach mein bhartiya sanskriti ki misal puri duniya mein di jati hai भारतीय संस्कृति सर्वाधिक संपन्न और समृद्ध है और अनेकता में एकता ही इसकी मूल पहचान है अब ले चलते हैं आपको दिल्ली और सिक्किम की सैर पर excited to know about the culture and heritage of Delhi and Sikkim Oh yes why not though i know somewhat about Delhi 
I'm excited to know how different the culture of Sikkim would be. All right, so let me introduce you to Sikkim, a land of untouched beauty and serenity. Do you know how Sikkim got its name? Well, well, let me tell you. A word called Sukhim means happy family and place of peace. So this place, Sikkim, has got its name with the word Sukhim. Though Sikkim is in the northeast part of the country, it is not a part of seven sisters. It has its own identity and uniqueness. So let my friends unfold the culture and tradition of Sikkim through a mind map. Come read more everyone. Hey, I didn't quite understand what you just said. Well, I greeted you all in a Sikkimese language. Oh, Sikkim! I've always loved that place so much. Of course, who wouldn't fall in love with the beauty of the place? Now, we would like to present a mind map which graphically represents some of the aspects of Sikkim. The sea is famous for its stunning waterfalls, untouched wilderness, Tibetan style Buddhist compound, monasteries, tall grassy meadows and a variety of flowers. It is a unique blend of different customs and religions like Vajrayana Buddhism, Hinduism and Christianity. Sikkim is like a beautiful cultural bouquet that is adorned with attractive folk dances like the mask dance, Rechul Ma, Ghatu Kito, traditions and customs of different tribes and castes. These myriad cultures have given birth to a quintessential Sikkimese culture that encompasses all walks and ways of life. Having said that, it has also managed to retain its own identity. Another thing this state has done well for protecting the environment is that no one uses a plastic bottle here, not even a single plastic bottle is seen in this entire state. Wow, that was exceptionally informative. Now, I would like to familiarize everyone with the culture of Delhi. Great Rohani, so let us know about the culture of Delhi that has made its mark throughout the world. Delhi is a diplomatic and administrative of the country, as well as the home to the Indian parliament and many government buildings. Delhi is a cosmopolitan city where People are open to embracing new ideas and lifestyles. People from all parts of the country live here. Very true, Devansh. Unity in diversity is evident in social and cultural gatherings of this happening city. Delhi's culture is a unique blend of traditional as well as cosmopolitan styles. Delhiites are merger of modern lifestyles as well as they follow old traditions and values. Numerous fairs and festivals are celebrated here, bringing a colorful aspect to its culture. As you can see in the mind map, the culture of Delhi includes festivals, art, paintings, embroidery, jewelry, handicrafts, cuisine, religion and sports. As far as the music and dance is concerned, Delhi is under a Mughal aura which is present in their classical music and dance styles. That was extremely insightful. This carnival has given us the opportunity to learn, understand so many different aspects of each other state. I have so much to carry back home and tell my friends about Delhi. to both international and domestic tourists. There are many worth seeing historical places both in Delhi and Sikkim. Tourist spots form a major part of attraction to the tourists who visit these two beautiful states to take home innumerable memories. Let us take a tour to some attractive places in these two states. Sikkim. So let's go on a virtual tour of Sikkim. 
Although Sikkim has numerous attractions, Ramchak Monastery is counted among the oldest and the largest monasteries of Sikkim. An ode to the Buddhist traditions and cultures, this monastery is located in Gangtok and is also known as the Dharma Chakra Center. Thanks, Anya. Another beautiful destination of Sikkim is Lachung. Lachung has multiple reasons to make you fall in love with it. While its location at an enthralling height of 8,610 feet makes it a popular snow destination in Sikkim. Located in the northern part of Sikkim, this quaint mountain village is adorned by the immaculate beauty of the Lachung Chu River. Other than these, Sikkim has much more to offer. Yoksam, Songo Lake, Nathula Pass, Jawaharlal Nehru Botanical Garden, etc. are mesmerizing destinations of Sikkim. Not only this, Sikkim is a hub of adventures and thrills. Trekking and hiking, river rafting, paragliding and much more is waiting for you. Now my friend Zaim and Ankita will take you on a magnificent journey to India's national capital, Delhi. Wow! After watching the mesmerizing beauty of Sikkim, my heart is already excited to visit there as soon as the situation gets back to normal. I will show the Asma family to plan a trip to Sikkim. Chaliye, ab ma apko le chalte hain dil wale kuch hai Delhi mein. From a splendid architecture and flea market to tantalizing food and vibrant nightlife, the capital of India has a lot to offer. Whether you are on a solo trip or traveling with your friends and family, one such popular place in Delhi is Akshadham Temple, dedicated to Bhagwan Swami Narayan. Akshadham Temple exhibits the ancient culture of India, registered as the world's largest comprehensive Hindu temple in Guinness World Record. The temple is architecturally marble built from complex cast sandstone and marble. Over to you, Ankita. Thanks, Zain. Now, let me take you to one of the educational sites of Delhi. The new Ambedkar Memorial that came up by raising this historical and dignified building has been described as an architectural marvel in the shape of an open book. The Constitution with vast landscape gardens. The memorial is worth a visit both in terms of a vision of modernity and sanitization of fish trade. Ambedkar's caste and caste privileges are given the short shift while stint as India's first law minister is highlighted and appropriated. Delhi also offers many amusement parks, water parks, adventure spots which can give you a fun full day with your family and friends. Such much. दिल्ली और सिक्किम के आकर्षक पर्यटक स्थलों के बारे में जानकर तो मजा ही आ गया तभी तो सिक्किम को पूर्व का स्विट्जरलैंड कहा जाता है और दिल्ली की तो बात ही निराली है ये दिल्ली है दिल वालों की ये दिल्ली है दिल वालों की इंडिया गेट भी है यहाँ जो शान है वीर जवानों की कुतुब मीनार और लाल किला इज्जत करते है मेहमानों की ये दिल्ली है दिल वालों की अब ले चलते हैं आपको स्टॉल नंबर पाँच की ओर जहाँ पर त्योहारों और नृत्यों की धूम देखकर मन खुशी से नाच उठेगा Yes, I am still ready to take my yoga. 
Rotterdam talk about festivals. Some of the most popular festivals of Sikkim are the Sagadawa, Lusar, Lusar, Dasin, Puju, and Thrupadeshi. Let us learn about two of these festivals in detail. Over to my friend Drugi from the Bhutia tribe. of the Bhutia tribe, I am wearing a Bakmu or Khom. This dress is worn by both men and women alike during festivals. Let me call upon my partner to tell you about the Saga Dhamma or the Triple Dress Festival. It is an auspicious month for the Sikkimese who thrift with prayers held throughout the monasteries. This month-long festival honors Buddha Sakyamuni whose birth enlightenment all took place in the same month. The Sikkimese celebrate this festival with a lot of joy and fun. And now, meet my friend from the Nepalese tribe wearing the Shiravar. Which festival is he going to tell you about? Namaste! Before I tell you about a festival called the Losar, let me show you what I am wearing. The Shuruval is a Churidar Pajama Kota worn with a coat and a belt. Am I not looking smart? Now, coming to the festival Losar. This festival in Sikkim is a grand event where entire local communities gather together to witness religious performances. It is celebrated in the month of February. This festival marks the new year according to the Buddhist calendar. Chanmas dance performances by the Lamas in monasteries of Sikkim is one of the most integral and significant parts of a Losar celebration. It is very rightly said, the greatness of a culture lies in its festivals. Very true, my friend. Just like the festivals are integral to the cultural and social life of Sikkim, the festivals of Delhi provide the Delhiites with a much needed break from the routine and monotonous city life. Since Delhi is a melting pot of different religions and cultures, Delhi celebrates almost all the festivals celebrated in different parts of the country, from the Diwali of the Hindus, Eid of the Muslims, Christmas of the Christians, and Guru Parv of the Saints. Each and every festival is celebrated with immense joy and happiness. Tiyoharon ke khub surat apsar par nirte na ho? Aisa ho hi nahi sakta. Nirte se in parvon ki ronat mein char chan lag jate hai. Sangini, Gaini, Tatha Maruni, Sikkim ke pramukh nirte hai. वहीं दिल्ली में त्योहारों के हर अवसर पर नृत्य और संगीत की धूम दिखाई देती है सिक्किमी ट्राइबल नृत्य और दिल्ली का सूफी नृत्य बेशक बहुत ही अलग हो पर इन दो नृत्यों से भारत देश की मिट्टी में खुशबू आती है चलिए इन नृत्यों का आनंद लेते हैं
Delhi and Sikkim attract tourists from all over the world. There are handicraft melas and fairs as well as shops and emporiums where craft works are available. Delhi Heart is one of the places in Delhi where a large variety of handicrafts from border states are available. My dear friends have toiled quite hard to gather some real handicraft work from inside their homes and their neighborhood to bring forth the exquisite handicrafts of Delhi and Sikkim. So what are we waiting for? Let us explore some real craft work. Good morning everyone. Available in different designs, colors and varieties. The handicrafts of Sikkim or oodles of praise from the tourists across the globe. I have this beautifully designed bowl reflecting the serene beauty of Sikkim. Wood carving is a symbolic art of Sikkimese people and it is performed by skilled Bhutia artisans. Wood carving includes the process of molding of timber and ores of timber which can be found in plenty. I have this wooden bath with an intricate design. This is a speciality of Sikkim woodwork. The artists of Sikkim have long perfected the art of wood carving. The exquisite wood carvings from the temples, monuments and monasteries are a great testimony to their impeccable craftsmanship. Beautiful wooden masks and wooden sculptures are the perfect example of the art. The capital of India is famous for many things including Delhi's handicrafts. Art and craft has found a significant place in Delhi because so many dynasties and emperors ruled Delhi. In Delhi, terracotta pottery is the one whose products make the perfect souvenirs you take home. Some famous terracotta pottery items are cutwork lamps, flower pots, water pots, pitchers, and cups of all shapes and sizes. To get hold of quality earthenware, one can check the Crafts Museum in Prakriti Madan or Delhi Hart. Zari is gold and Zardozi embroidery is a magnificently ornate, heavily covered gold thread work practiced in Delhi. Zari threads are used extensively in handloom or powering, either real silver thread, gold plated thread or an artificial one with copper base plated with gold or silver colored is used for Zari work. Here is an example of Zardozi work. Delhi is the one state that is regarded as the home of shellac work. 
The brightly colored glittery bangles often studded with glass gems, spirals of base metal wire and foils and spangles are worth mentioning one of the crafts that is. I am sure these handicrafts have intrigued your mind to know more. So let me take you on a small tour to have a glimpse of the handicrafts of both the states. अपने हाथ से कुछ बनाकर जब घर को सजाते हैं तो मानो अपने वजूद का एक हिस्सा उन कोनों में छोड़ आते हैं सचमुच सिक्किम और दिल्ली की हस्तकला के नमूने देखकर उन कलाकारों के वजूद का एहसास हर जगह होता है जी डी ग्वेन का स्कूल के विद्यार्थियों ने सिक्किम की अद्भुत कला से परिचित कर पाने तथा उसे लोकप्रिय बनाने के लिए थांका कला के डिजाइन स्लो मोशन एनिमेशन तथा प्रार्थना चक्र आदि अनेक कलात्मक नमूने तैयार किए हैं चलिए देखते हैं विद्यार्थियों द्वारा किए गए प्रयासों की खूबसूरत झलकिया Students of grade 6 made colorful prayer wheels as part of their winter assignment on Ek Bharat Shresth Bharat. Prayer wheels are used by many Tibetans every day, sometimes for hours on end. Worshippers turn prayer wheels to accumulate merit, to help all beings in the world, and to purify their karma. These are part of a meditation practice. Don't these colourful wheels made by our super talented Goenkans look beautiful? Now let us have a look at the wonderful work presented by the students of grade 7 who made travel brochures comparing and contrasting the culture, food and cuisines of both the states. What an apt example of art integration with social science! Students of grade 8 used the stop motion animation technique in which one frame is captured at a time. In between each shot, the objects in the frame are moved slightly. When the images are strung together in a video, it gives the impression that the objects are moving on their own. Class 8 students also learnt the Thangaka art form of Sikkim and made beautiful paintings. आशा है कि सभी को इस आभासी मंच की झलकियां बड़ी ही रुचिकर और आकर्षक लगी होंगी और आपको अनेक रोचक अनुभव प्राप्त हुए होंगे
Hey lovely people out there, how has your journey through these beautiful states been so far? Sophia, I'm sure our audience must be mesmerized by the shining glaciers and amazing lakes of Sikkim. What to say about the enchanting monasteries and the vast landscape? I couldn't agree more, Sophia. Apart from its exquisitely rich culture, heritage, let's have a glimpse of some really authentic Sikkimese cuisine. You have to literally try them to believe me. What is so special about these soups and dumplings, Jim? Why am I going to make them almost every other day? The thing with these cuisines is that they are made of organically grown fruits, vegetables and dairy products. The far local farmers produce it without using any fertilizers and pesticides. Oh really? How I wish that the Lakeites don't have an easy and pocket friendly access to organic produce, but only if wishes are horses. Don't lose heart, Ayan. Our lovely friends are going to seduce her taste buds by giving us a video treat of some of these dishes. Of course, but how about Delhi? Isn't it the Dil of Hindustan? Who would deny the gastronomical treat that the state has to offer? Hold your horses, Chris. Patience is a virtue. To take us forward, our friends will share with us their celebrating experience of the scrumptious preparation of Sikkim, showcasing their culinary skills. Good morning, friends. Hungry kya? No need to worry. Your dear friend Sharna has always something up her sleeves. No prize for guesses. You are absolutely right. We are talking about the steam and momos of Sikkim. The ingredients used for the same are one and a half cup maida, two cups of shredded cabbage, one cup grated carrot, one inch ginger, two finely chopped chili, salt, and pepper powder. Hello, friends. I'm Ari. How is the cake keeping you? I'm sure you must be enjoying the food cake as much as I do. So here I go, start the sharing with you the step to prepare the delicacy. Wait, wait, wait. Before I tell you about momos, let us have a look at some authentic Sikkim cuisine that is relished by tourists who visit the state with mystic beauty. And now we won't keep you waiting for very long. Our friend Arin prepared these delicious momos at home. Let's see the steps for its preparation. Mix the flour, salt and water to make dough. Heat oil in the pan and saute all vegetables you cut for the filling of the momos. Add the sauces and make small balls of the dough. Hold the balls in moon shape and add the vegetables. Fill and steam them. Your momos are ready! One important lesson my friends I learned during the pandemic. I always check the nutritional value what goes into my tummy. The nutritional value of this salivating dish is as follows. Carbohydrates 2%, proteins 1%, fiber 1% and energy 1%. Oh now my friend. What do our chivalrous chefs have to offer on your of Dilwali Dili? I'm sure they have something to surprise us soon. Well, what better than the budding bubbly chefs? We have on board Adina and Naisha to showcase their culinary skills. Being a Dili Wali, I'm a die-hard fan of Delhi street food. And Chat Pati Chat is something that tops my list. Isn't it natural for me to know how this lovely item is prepared? Well, I prepare it at home if I don't get an opportunity to savor it outside. For a typical daily chart you need, this is papri chart. Here we have some namkeen, grapes, coriander, tomato, Masala, pomegranate, and curd. Hi friends, I am Naisha and I will show you how to prepare a chatpati chaat. 
using the ingredients shared with us by Adina. Procedure to make the chaat is Take some papdi and bhalla. Crush it thoroughly. Mix it well. Add some curd. Then add some mint chutney. Now add some tamarind chutney. Now add the special ingredient chaat masala. Mix it well. Garnish it with some coriander leaves and namkeen save. Look, your chatpati chaat of Delhi is ready. Doesn't it look delicious? As a fitness freak, I always check the nutritional value of my food. Let's take a sneak peek into the nutrients that this chart contains. Carbohydrates 5.3 grams, proteins 0.2 grams, fats 0 grams and total calories 22. Sure, you would have loved watching it. Not to mention the smog watching effect. Sure, sure. So what are you waiting for? Go and put on the calorie caps and satiate your hunger. And please don't forget to subscribe our channel www.deligabooker.com My name is Shalini and I am in class 6. When the school closed in March 2020, I was thrilled that I did not have to get up early in the morning to go to school and that I could spend the whole day at home with my family. It all seemed wonderful for a few days, but very soon I realized the importance of going to school. Within just a few days of the school closing, our teacher had set up a whole system for online classes. I did not know anything about meeting applications and online forms then. But now I am a master of Google, Zoom, Skype, Facebook, you name it. Our teachers made the online classes great fun. There is innovative technology, live demonstrations, models, videos and storytelling. From conducting experiments on the dining table to bringing flowers from their own garden to teach, all possible efforts were made to make virtual learning fun. Who would have ever thought that yoga classes could be conducted from the terrace and dance could be learned from the comfort of our own living rooms? This whole setup made us feel like we are part of one big family. Our teachers took us on visits to different countries, to the world underwater and even up there in the space through fantastic webinars and online assemblies. Participating in this from home meant I did not have to get up in, on stage in front of everyone. All these activities made up for the fun we were missing because we were stuck at home. I would like to take this opportunity to thank Principal Ma'am and my teachers. They made us believe in this famous quote, Never give up. Your victory is right around the corner. Thank you. Very rightly said, my dear friend Charlie, I am an Anya Sharma from class 6. We are going through a pandemic which has affected our life in many ways. Some people had to face major financial difficulties. While well, for some, it was life threatening. For every student and their parents, a common concern and worry was how will learning continue in these circumstances? I am really grateful to my school and my teachers who came forward to hold our hands in these troubled times. Each one of us, through our teachers' support, slowly and steadily became self reliant. Uh, very good morning to everyone. My name is Ankur I am a student of class 7th. I would like to share my experience regarding the online classes. The pandemic has not only changed our lives, but also given a new perspective to 
to the age old ways of education our teacher right from day one saw to it that we were connected and there was no gap in our learning process online teaching has not only made me tech savvy but also made me confident and independent i am grateful to everyone who have helped me stay connected with my studies teachers and friends thank you good morning everyone my name is javika and i am a student of class 7b i have participated in many cultural events during the online classes this has given me a confidence to work even more better in all areas my parents were really happy to see my performance during the online classes all our school sessions are fun filled with activities and learning experiences this has helped me in my overall development of my personality thank you hello everyone this is rishi sharma from class 8a gd goenka prep school sarita bihar so today i will be sharing my experience about online classes so in 2020 when covid 19 broke out i was very scared that how i'm going to continue my school but in online classes with new platforms like zoom microsoft teams and google meet has changed the whole world today i'm going to with all my teachers and friends by the one click of mouse online classes give us an opportunity to pursue our hobbies and studies thank you thank you dear friends today you have taught us that you should always be thankful for your blessings and never doubt your struggles don't ask why it happened just be thankful for the strength it gave you now let us see what's happening in the news i must admit shivi I have gained a wealth of experience. The way these children have brought forth the wonderful connection between the two fields is phenomenal. भारत अपनी सभ्यता और संस्कृति के कारण जाना जाता है। भारत की अनेकता में एकता की मिसाल सभी जगह दी जाती है। चाहे हम एक प्राण से दूसरे प्राण में क्यों ना चले जाएं, तब भी वहाँ पर हमें हमारे अपनेपन और प्यार का एहसास होता रहता है क्योंकि अनेकता में एकता ही हमारी शान है इसलिए मेरा भारत देश महान है इसलिए मेरा भारत देश महान है
now like to request our revered headmistress, Mrs. Vinita Sachdeva, to propose the vote of thanks. Greetings, dear parents and dear Goenkans. I would like to begin by congratulating our dearest, loveliest, beautiful children, our Goenkans, for giving us the privilege of witnessing such a beautiful class presentation. The theme of class presentation, Ek Bharat, Shresh Bharat, as it is, is so amazing, is so wondrous because it's giving a glimpse of our country. And I know that our children have been working for the past two years as the government has initiated the project and Delhi has been paired with Sikkim. But dear children, let me tell you, the information you've given us has impressed us so much and we've learned a lot. I'm sure children, while working on this project, the class presentation, all of you have learned, you too have learned so much and so many new things about the beautiful uh, states of Sikkim and Delhi and also the country. And also when you work on a project, there is always, there are so many plus points like you do knowledge sharing then there is so much of team spirit because you're doing it. Then some children are speaking but so many children are doing the work which is at the back end by uh, getting the videos, combining the videos, compiling them, then doing research work, your team spirit, everything work fosters a lot of many good things. And good going children, we are so, so proud of you and we love you all. Now, children, if you're working, then you have two people behind you who are supporting you. The first, dear parents. Parents, we would like to express our heartfelt gratitude. In fact, we fall short of words to profess our gratitude for, to all of you for being our strong pillars and standing by us um, to give the best to our children. Your constant support through these past two years of difficult times to the school, to the teachers and in helping out our dear Goenkans is amazing. It's nothing can surpass that. And we stand tall as we as a school stand tall on your shoulders. So thank you so much parents for being there, for guiding us and extending our, your support where we could not reach to the children. But also while we were seeing the presentation, I was thinking that we see so many, uh, we are seeing so many people on the screen. We know who all have worked. Some people we are not seeing who are behind the screen. So those people who are invisible, but their hard work, their, um, the, the, not, the guidance is there, which is not visible, but palpable. We can feel it. We've seen it. Because when the screens were coming on the uh, on when you could see the movies, the GIFs, the compilation, the background, the music, so and the script. So we are we have all the class teachers who worked for this presentation. We have all the activity teachers who, with their inputs of dance, music, compilation, digital work, have painstakingly put in a lot of effort, and it is reflected in today's presentation which we just saw. So uh, we just hope and pray that God gives them more power, more power to them so that the class teachers and the activity teachers all keep us going with their guidance and hard work. So once again, dear parents, thank you for being with us and the, I would not say as an audience for being the best viewers of this beautiful presentation and sparing your valuable time while during the preparation and today the final show. Thank you for being there. Love to you dear children and thumbs up to all of the stakeholders of today's presentation. Thank you so much.